Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Miles. Today we're gonna talk about why it's actually a great thing to be broke, the power of being broke. At this channel, we love to talk about financial education, personal development, and of course some mixed martial arts in there. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Miles. I've been fighting since I was young in mixed martial arts. That's my main profession, my career. And I've been taking all my money over the years and investing it to actually one day get to financial freedom. So if you're into financial education, uh, you know, mixed martial arts, make sure to just subscribe. And to all the YouTube fam, welcome back. Hit that thumbs up button, you know how we do it. Give it a little uppercut. And let's jump into the video today. Why it's great to be broke. Now the first reason is motivation. There is nothing more motivating than having no money in your pocket, being at the dirty bottom and wanting to succeed. Now, when it comes down to being successful in business, fight game, or life in general, it's your why, your motivation. Why do you want to achieve something? Why do you want to be successful? To some people, it's their, their children are their motivation. To others, it's their, their dreams, like myself. I mean, my dreams were my motivation to continue pushing me past all the obstacles and adversity that came my way since I was a young kid. And to others, it's financial. You know, they want to make money for whatever their personal reasons are. And when you're broke, when you have no money in the account, man, is that motivating. It's a lot easier to get up and go go to the gym, to go work out, to go take this fight, to go get out there and, uh, and make yourself uncomfortable when you don't have any money in the bank account. You're basically used to living like in poverty. So why not go out there and get hustle and get after it and chase those dreams? Because when you're broke, man, that motivation is there. Now, the next reason for you to be broke is that there's only one way to go, and that's up. When you're broke and you're at the dirty bottom, man, it can be tough sometimes, but you're already at your lowest financially. Let's say you have no money in the bank account, which, you know, a lot of people, myself included at one time in my life, man, I didn't have, I had $20 to try and stretch me to the end of the week. I mean, I had $20 to, to get me to, I don't even know when my next pay is going to be coming in. And that right there is scary sometimes. It's tough. And one thing that kind of helped me stay free of it all, and yourself may be included, is when you're broke like that, is there's no pressure. I mean, how much you know worse could it get when it comes to finances? You don't have any money. You're broke. So, hey, you know, I might as well go enjoy, you know, going to the, the job or going to, to go to my uh, career or school, whatever it is that I'm doing, because hey, I mean, it, financially, it's it's as worse as it's going to get. So I know I'm on my path to only going one way, and that's up. Considering I'm already down, I'm broke, can't go any lower. So when you are when you don't have any money in your bank account, trust that you're only going to be going up from there. So that's another great lesson and a powerful thing for not having money and being broke. The number three lesson about being broke is that it humbles you, and it teaches you to be grateful. Sometimes money a lot of times money is a drug. It's probably the most powerful drug out there. And it can mess with your, your psyche. It can mess with your emotions. When people get money, sometimes they think they're smarter than they are or they're cooler than they are. And when you're broke, man, you don't have to deal with that drug. That's, that's a, a great thing. So while you're at those stages of being broke and you're hustling, you're trying to get that come up, take those lessons. You know, be, it, it teaches you to be humble and it teaches you to be grateful because when you don't have any money in the account, you can't uh, use that to get high, that, that drug. You have to go and look at other things to give you satisfaction. And that's when you kind of look inward. You know, you look at, man, I'm grateful for my health, grateful for any of the family that I have. I'm grateful to be alive. Um, just all kinds of things to be grateful for. And that is a huge, important lesson in life. An attitude of gratitude, it will take you places. You take your attitude wherever you go. And by staying grateful, man, you're putting yourself in a position to be successful also humble you know one thing about being on the come up is that the more success you have it can mess with your mind so make sure that while you're down learn to be humble because that way it's going to save you as you're going up you're going to be continually like hey i'm going to stay in the gym i'm going to i'm going to not focus on any of that noise i'm going to humble myself my ego isn't getting too big and i'm going to use that to become more and more successful so that's one of the perks of being broke is being humble, being grateful, you have to use those to get to that next level of success. The next lesson on why it's great to be broke is head kicking that thumbs up button and subscribing. 
Mel, but for real guys, if you haven't already, make sure if you've gotten any value out of this video, just to subscribe for future content. It helps out the channel a lot. So number four is you get to see who your true friends are. You really do. When you're down and out, especially financially, you're gonna see what friends stay by you, what friends still treat you the same, uh, you know, what what family, what what associates are around that they're not motivated by anything financially. As you get higher up in life and you get into certain circles, it's easy to have people around, especially if you're making money, that might be motivated, not necessarily because they want to be around you or they care about you, but necessarily because they see an opportunity to get something from you. It's just a, a, a way of life. I mean, it, it, there's people in their circles, especially when you start getting into the business side of stuff, when you start getting into uh, certain areas and around certain people, man, is that a big thing? So when you're broke, take a second to sit back and look around who's with you, who, who's still believing in you, who's still loving you, who's still treating you the same. Uh, you know, those are the people that you want to keep in your circle and you want to grow with as you become more and more successful and financially in a better position. Now, the number five reason why it's great to be broke, and this is a practical strategy or, or technique that you can actually use. You know, we've been talking a lot about ideas, the mindset so far in this video, but this last one is a very important one when it comes to financial success. Myself, I use it all the time and I've used it over this last decade. It's helped me get to reach a net worth of over a million dollars. It's helped me, you know, buy a ton of real estate. It's helped me build up my cash flow every month and become financially free. So number five, why it's good to be broke is because you're going to take all your money and you're going to invest it into assets that produce cash flow and go up in value over time. And when you do that, you're going to be broke on paper. Uh, you're, you're cash broke, but you're going to be investment rich. Investment, I guess I should say wealthy. We don't care about being rich. We want to be wealthy. So that is number five. That, that's the very important lesson. Get used to being broke because when you make money, you're going to train yourself to invest it all into assets. And then you're going to build that cash flow. So the older you get, the more cash flow you have coming in, the better your life's going to get financially. And you're going to be financially free eventually. To me, this was a small sacrifice and it was scary. You know, I'd have, you know, thousands of dollars in the account and I would take it and I would go and I would buy another piece of real estate. And I would even talk to my, you know, my wife and I'd be like, man, we you know we've been doing the same process over and over again. It's like we're broke on the bank account, but, you know, it, it's kind of, we're, we're getting wealthier and wealthier. And we would just discuss that, hey, it's okay. Like we're used to being broke. You know, we broke college students broke up open up and coming fighter so why not use that to your advantage why not use that to our advantage let's keep being broke you know psychologically because that's going to motivate us to get back up make more money as soon as i take that money out of the account and i put it into an asset and i don't touch it i look at my account and i say hey man i don't have any money in there so guess what i got to get my butt up i got to go in the cage i got to fight i got to uh i got to find a way to make more money new money so that's number five that's a very important one if you do that, that's a practical one that you can start doing today or tomorrow. Uh, you're gonna get your chances of getting to financial freedom, getting uh, more financially successful, or just gonna boom, go through the roof. So make sure you do this one. So guys, make sure you take these five lessons and use them in your own life, put them to work, so that way you can become more financially successful and get your money right, because that's what we wanna do. Get your money right, it's gonna help all other areas of your life. So thanks for sticking around this whole video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.